it's in. Uh, so if you like to do that kind of thing, you can sing that song as you go. Can you let me down once? Here we go. You're going to have me lift these over Everett's head? No, no. Just hand them to me. Uh, I have no idea. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Okay, huh? You guys good? Well, good morning, guys. How are we doing? Oh, my goodness. It's an exciting day. Do you know what hallelujah... Do you know what hallelujah means? It's a Hebrew word, and it means... Christmas? No. It means praise the Lord. <clears throat> so that's what it means. That's what it's all about. So you got to learn and practice Hebrew. You know another Hebrew word already, too. Amen. Do you know that's a Hebrew word? Pretty cool, isn't it? And, uh, of course, it's said in the church all over the world. Um, no matter what language we speak, it's a neat word to, neat word to have. Now, we have an interesting story. Jesus is teaching in Capernaum. And there's a man who comes in who is controlled by an evil spirit. And, and he starts shouting out, what are you here for? What do you want to do with me? I know who you are. You're the Holy One of God. And Jesus, who's teaching... He tells the spirit to be quiet, and then he tells the evil spirit to leave the man. And just like that, the evil spirit is gone, and the man has returned to his right mind. It's always good to be in your right mind. And everyone was amazed. And they said, this is some new kind of teaching because when Jesus teaches and says stuff, things happen. It's a completely different kind of authority. We've never seen it before. Jesus' words work. Can you say that with me? Jesus' words work. Let's pray together. Will you repeat after me? Dear God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for his word. We thank you for the way he changes things. And the way he changes us. Amen. Amen. Now, I know many of you guys will be headed off to um, your Sunday school class. Uh, moms and dads taking you back. And, but before you go, I do have some worksheets for you. I'm going to get someone else to help me.